Hi, I'm Gary Horlock of Austin Roofing Contractors. Today we're out on a roof where we have done a metal roof and we have put on split panels. Now this video is going to take you back to when we we're actually doing the, uh, the panels so you can actually see how that assembly went together. Okay, here we are back at the roof where the pipe is. Now you see Noberto has got the pipe coming up through the first panel. This is called a split panel. It's actually going to be two panels that make the distance of this uh, run. Now the first one, you see he's made a hole in for precaution. We've got the uh, original seal uh, underneath where the uh, underlayment is watertight. You can see that he's locked into the valley and he's getting everything straight up here. What he's doing here is this is for that other panel to sit down in there. Now this pipe had to be moved. And this is a nice part about the PVC pipes is that uh, they're easy to move. They can be cut in the attic and, and moved over. And of course they just uh, uh, use a cleaner and glue them back together. And so it makes it easy for us to hit the somewhat center of these pans rather than them coming up on a seam. Because you can see if it comes up on a seam, it would be very difficult to seal. A lot of people try that. They put a deck tide on it. And um, that works for a while. Okay, you can see he's actually setting it down over the pipe and of course this uh, covers the pipe completely. Now the top of that will bend down into the pipe, into the opening of the pipe. And you see he's pressing that down into the panel and uh, getting it just right around the uh, edge so everything fits very good. Okay, now what's going to happen is the next panel is coming down. It's going to have a hole in it so it sets down over this. And even though it'll get caulked on top so it looks very finished and waterproof on top, this is what the real protection is. And so this actually is going to catch water between the pans, allowing it to run on down. Here you see, I put it over the one, I put it over the second pipe. And uh, they have to go on together so they go down flat. And you can see that's going to completely cover that clashing up. Now they've got to work to get this panel down inside that other panel. This does take a little bit of work and uh, some finesse and a little bit of forcing to get this right. Okay, so there's where the top one goes and of course that other one will come down over this one the same exact way, creating a double flashing so any water that got in around the pipe, even though we're going to caulk it, if water that comes in later, it's still going to be on the flashing underneath and roll out from under that pan. Metal, keep in mind, expands and contracts. And because it expands and contracts, any caulking that you rely on is going to break away. Now we're here on the roof right now, and I'm going to show you the actual finished product. So uh, let's take a look uh, right down here. This is actually what we call a split pan or a split sheet. Sheet, of course, is because of sheet metals. This particular metal has striations in it, which creates this wave. But you notice that a pipe's coming through. Now one of the things that we did is we moved this pipe over so it wouldn't be so close to the valley. And you're going to see in this video that we have a flashing that comes up the pipe and actually locks into this. And then we actually have a separate sheet that ends here. But this is the way it actually ends up. This is the, the beauty of this panel is it, it looks really, really nice, really clean when it's done. This, this is the way we like to do a metal roof because you're buying a product that's going to last 40, 50, 60 years. Why not do the installation where it's also going to last that long? This is Gary Whillock of Austin Roofing Contractors.